Hello, in today's video I'm going to be talking about the three methods or regression techniques that you can use to do a body weight pull-up. I was in this position once where I couldn't really do a single pull-up. It is a challenging exercise because you're essentially lifting your entire body weight up and for a lot of us our bodies are quite heavy and there's no way you can lift your entire body up towards a bar or towards hand level if you haven't got the strength in your back muscles. So the back muscles which will be worked for this will be the latissimus dorsi as well as your rear delt. So that's the back part of your shoulder muscles as well as your traps. So that's the central muscles of your upper back. All right. So this is a vertical pulling exercise, the pull up or a pull down. And it's great for supporting general mobility as well as support your entire posture and to stand up tall. So let's get into regression technique number one, the assisted pull up machine. Now this is what I used back in the day when I started out with strength training. You've basically got a knee pad and then you're going to grab the two handles above and then simply pull yourself up like you would with a normal pull-up. Now this is great because this is going to apply resistance to make the pull-up slightly easier. So my approach would be to find a weight that you can do for roughly 10 repetitions and then week by week you're gradually going to progressively overload that which means making it harder over time. So let's say the first week you're going to start off with 50 kilograms. Do this for about twice a week and then hopefully by the end of the second week you're going to see that 10 reps you can do quite comfortably and you can maybe even do 12 or 15 reps. For the purpose of today's video, let's keep everything at 10 reps. So by week three, lower the weight. So this has got a reverse effect. By lowering the weight on the assisted pull-up, you're making it harder for yourself because there is less resistance and therefore you've got to use more of your muscles to pull yourself up. So week by week, let's say every 10 days to two weeks, you're gonna make it harder and then you're simply going to take off weight. Now another thing to point out here is don't worry if you can't lift any heavier after two weeks. Right? So if you can't take off more weight of the assisted pull-up and you can only do the same weight for two or even three or even a month, that's absolutely fine. Just do what you can for the start. Like I said, aim for 10 reps and only when you can comfortably do 12 or 13 reps, then it's time to make it harder. Regression method number two is actually a lat pull down. So this is, again, this is another vertical pulling exercise. You want to make sure that you arch your back and that you focus on pulling the bar down towards your chest. If you don't arch your back slightly and you're just kind of completely upright, you end up engaging a bit of your shoulders to help and that might make the movement easier, but what it's gonna do is take tension away from the working muscle, which is your lats, which is your back muscles here, and we want to try and avoid that. So if you don't arch your back, so really try and focus on pulling the bar down to your upper chest, and then slowly bring the weight up, nice and slow on the way back up as you resist the load. So the lat pull down again, just like the assisted pull-up machine, you can use this, do 10 reps, and then over time you're going to gradually increase the load. This one, increasing the load will make it harder, kind of like the reverse effect for the assisted pull-up machine. Right, the third regression technique that you can use is actually an assisted pull-up using resistance bands. Now, at Base Bangkok, the gym that I work in, we've actually got five resistance bands, which may not seem like a lot, but when you consider for each color, there's actually two variations that you could use. The first one, is actually to anchor the band around your knees. And the second one is to anchor the band underneath your feet. Now, obviously anchoring the band around your knee will be harder because there's not as much stretch on the band not an, and not as much resistance and therefore it will be harder, all right? So effectively we've got five bands and if there's two variations for each band, you've got 10 options there that you can use. Start off with the thickest band. Again, I forgot to mention, the thicker the band is, the easier it will be because it applies more resistance and it should make it easier as you pull yourself up towards the bar. Right. So those are the three regression methods which I highly recommend and it's what I use with my clients when I'm training them, when I'm trying to get them to develop that upper back strength. If you do this over time, like I said, progressive overload is key here. So start off with 10 reps and you'll be able to gradually make it harder over time. So over the weeks, over the month, if you do this consistently, you'll find that it will get easier, your muscles will develop more strength, and you'll be able to eventually do a full body weight pull up. And when you do, there's no better feeling than that, than being able to lift your entire body weight up. But some things to note as well, having high protein is definitely gonna help you increase strength it's gonna help with tissue repair whenever your muscles are fatigued and torn at the end of a workout. So just keep that in mind. 
Now the reason I came out with this video is because some clients of mine, especially in group classes, I do a TRX pull up. Now for the TRX straps, unfortunately, there's not really much of a regression here. There's no bands, there's no weights to help lift your body weight up. So it is quite hard to progress in a group class. But for my personal training clients, these three methods are what I try and use, especially the resistance bands to help make the pull ups easier. So I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.